Hello and welcome to Southside Dental. I'm Dr. Niranjan Prabhakar and today I'm going to be discussing about consequences of missing teeth and the options available to replace missing teeth. Missing teeth can cause devastating effects if they're not replaced. Firstly, the integrity of the arch is lost. The, the way your teeth are aligned or arranged depend on how each one of them are in relation to the other. When one tooth is lost, the tooth in front of it and tooth behind it start to close into the space, creating a change in your bite pattern. Very often, you may have noticed that you, may don't, you don't have any space in your upper front teeth, but you start to develop once you're missing teeth in the back portion. The upper front teeth also tend to flare out, causing a very unesthetic appearance, besides creating a occlusion problem. This sudden change in bite pattern can also lead to jaw joint issues and therefore it is imperative to replace missing teeth. So what are the options available to replace missing teeth? You can consider up to four options. The first of course is to do nothing. And when you do nothing, we've already discussed what the consequences can be. The second option is a removable partial or complete denture. The removable partial denture is made of acrylic or plastic material. They are designed to hold on to the necks of remaining natural teeth and it takes support from the gum tissues as well. With more advanced options available these days, removable dentures are used more as a temporary or an interim option. The next option is a dental bridge made of a metal, a combination of metal and ceramic or completely ceramic. It can help replace missing teeth by taking support of the teeth in front and behind the space of the missing tooth. It has been in vogue for many decades now. However, with the introduction of dental implants, they are used only when implants for whatever reason cannot be given and the most advanced option or state-of-the-art option in fact is the dental implant unlike the dental bridge it doesn't take support from the missing or the remaining natural teeth and unlike the denture it is not removable if you have missing teeth in your mouth yes you are a candidate for dental implants. First, a thorough medical and dental examination is done, after which a radiographic assessment is also performed using a cone beam computed tomography, which provides us the appropriate uh, understanding of how much of bone is remaining, the quality and the quantity of bone. Once we ascertain this, we then look at the size and the length of the implant that you require and the same is placed. However, if you are a candidate who has uncontrolled diabetes, someone who has undergone recent, uh, recent radiation or chemotherapy, or you are on bisphosphonate therapy, or somebody who has who's, uh, recently undergone a cardiac surgery, a renal surgery, or has had uh, transplants like kidney or liver transplants, such patients are usually considered a high risk uh, uh, situation. And dental implants are not the first choice for replacing missing teeth in them. We would also avoid placing dental implants in someone who is a chronic smoker. Although the evidence doesn't really show that implants fail in chronic smokers, but uh, the potential for failure is always there. Placement of a dental implant is a surgical procedure. It is done under local anesthesia. Let me give you a brief analogy of what exactly go happens during the implant placement. When placing an implant, we provide profound anesthesia in the region of the missing tooth. We try to numb either the single region or the entire jaw, depending on which arch we are placing the implant in. Once we do that, we can either use a flapless technique Flapless technique would some mean that you go through directly into your gum tissue and access the underlying bone by making a very small window. Or we could peel your gums open to access the underlying bone, whichever technique the surgeon is comfortable with. 
and it depends on several other factors as well. Once the access to the underlying bone is made, using sequentially increasing sizes of the drill, we uh, create space for the implants to be placed inside the bone. Once the implant is placed, we stitch the gums close using a resorbable or non-resorbable type of stitch. We allow the area to heal for a minimum of 15 days, after which uh, the stitches can be clipped off or if they are resorbable, they usually fall off on their own. Such is the procedure of dental implant placement. It takes nearly three months for the implants in the lower arch and up to six months for implants in the upper arch to osho integrate. Once the osho integration process is complete, we can then uncover the implants by gaining access to the implant by peeling the gums of course. We can then make impressions and design the caps or crowns. The primary requirement for the placement of a dental implant is the presence of a good quality and quantity of bone. When you have deficiency of bone, bone grafting or bone augmentation techniques are undertaken and this can be done either simultaneously with the placement of an implant or it can be done in a staged approach. Yes, if you are a denture wearer, the chances that your lower denture is loose is quite high. You may be very uncomfortable with the fact that it keeps coming off every time you try to eat something or you speak something. This can be avoided or in fact prevented by using two dental implants at critical points in the mandible or the lower jaw and the denture can be modified to get fixed to or to get support from the existing dental implants. This in fact is very very comfortable for denture wearer, existing denture wearers. Of all the dental biomaterials, the dental implant has one of the highest success rates, about 97%. Despite the high success rate, the long term survival of these implants depends on several factors, which primarily includes the maintenance of the dental implants. Regular dental visits, regular dental checkup is very very important to ensure long term success. So the onus of, uh, of maintaining these implants in long term or for many many years in their mouth is on the patients.